Hi everyone, so this is my newest video, so I hope you already seen the previous ones because this is a follow up on previous tutorials. So this is the finish you will get at the end of the video. So um, this plug was made out of alum alum aluminium epoxy um, just to cast that mother mold, so the plug. And you can find everything in the previous tutorials about making this one if you missed it out so you can find the video in the description down below so as a mold release i'm using a chemical release agent called easilies from easy composites it's a uk located company providing a lot of great stuff like uh, this pre-brick um, is also coming from them so I just removed the bag from the freezer, let it come to room temperature onto the table and then I removed the materials. I'm doing it that way just to avoid some moist and so on coming into the pre-prec, causing some problems with your parts. So the part I'm holding right now is the Vari Prec pre-prec carbon fiber, it's a 215 gram twill weave. Um, on the right you have the 430 gram square meter and in the middle you have the easy prec surface layer um, all from easy composites uh, just to get a nice finish onto the side of your mold on the top side so I roughly cut it around um, this is not like calculated and so on this is just a rough estimation about how much I will need maybe you will need a bit more but you can add some at the end if needed. So I'm cutting exactly the same shape with the 430 gram square meter. And then um, the next step would be making a template just to have a rough estimation for the surface layers onto the most important parts of the plug uh, that I will be adding onto it. So by doing it that way you can have a rough estimation about how much you will need and get a nice template from the first time to get onto the mold. So here I'm cutting everything following the template. Uh, the next step would be removing the backing layer. So I'm using, I'm using a Stanley knife uh, just to remove the backing layer. It takes some practice but it's quite easy to do. So this is the look of the surface so this is going on to the mold so um, the sticky side is going on to the mold it's quite a resin rich pre prick just to give you a nice out of autoclave finish without pinholes so I've been reading a lot of comments about people getting pinholes this is a solution just use uh, the easy prick surface layer and normally you will always get good results with out of autoclave pre prick so I'm doing exactly the same on the other side, uh, firmly press everything against the mold. It's very important to press everything against the mold because this will reduce pinholes and so on. So the shape was roughly made around uh, the part. So I just have to do some cutting um, just to firmly bond everything onto the mold. So this is very important. If you're going for cosmetic parts, you can also use a heat gun and just bend the pre prick while heating it um, against the mold. So these are the results at the end. So uh, the entire plug is covered with easy prick surface layer. Then it's time to use some backing just to reinforce it. So just to show you the angle is very important of your fibers so they are going from the top till bottom and then when adding the um, bagging layers you just do it the opposite way so you are just going that way. So this uh, bagging layer is sticky from both sides so a good way to do it is just remove the bottom Side. It doesn't matter which side, which side you use, uh, just use one, leave the backing layer on it and then you can just firmly press it around without having troubles with sticky fingers and so on. It can be quite difficult to do it in more difficult angles but because this is quite a basic simple shape you can do it that way. 
So this is exactly the same process. So it can take some time. Take your time for it. It's very important to remove all the air you have trapped in between the layers. So here I'm using a tool I've made myself. It's just to compress everything against the mold. You can use the backing layers um, just to avoid sticky fingers and so on. So this is a result and then we can go to the next step and that will be adding um, a layer of, um, I don't know how to call it, but it's a release film. So it's kind of a release, release film. I'm using a bagging material, just some bagging materials to add it on top. So this will avoid uh, resin going from the parts into your breeder materials. So this is the breeder also called the bleeder if I'm correct. And this will enable a good vacuum all around the part. So here I'm putting everything onto the parts. I've just tested a new technique. It didn't work out that well, but it's all about testing and improvement in making improvements, I think. So the next step will be vacuum bagging it. So I've just added a vacuum connector. Everything is into the bag. Um, I've leak checked everything. So there's no leaks. Uh, how can you do it? It's just a drop test. You just put everything under full vacuum, wait 30 minutes and then you see if you have the same vacuum, it's okay. So this is my setup. If you have been following my videos previously, this isn't new but I just wanted to include it uh, if you're new to my tutorials. So the oven starts at 50 degrees and then will go gradually up till 100. So I've just included that part uh, because it's very important to have full vacuum. Um, when you're used to your pump, you will know when you have some leaks. So I'm just wanting to show you how you can detect the leak. So the pump will start to smoke and um, you will hear the noise. So if you hear that noise, run through your bag and just find the little opening you have. So this is a pump. Um, I know I'll get this question. This is also from Easy Composites. So you can find everything in the description if you're looking for the products. So the part is removed. Um, just let it cool down. Um, I just had to use some extra tech tape around the connector because I was having some small leaks, but everything turned out okay. So now you can open the bag. The bag is reusable if you're careful. So the part is removed. And this is how it looks like. So I had some resin uh, running through um, the remove film, film, but that wasn't a big problem. So you can remove the bleeder. Then you remove the release film. So the release film will have the same finish as your part. And this is your part. So I was quite happy about the results. Um, giving me a nice finish. But like I said in previous tutorial, I go for perfection. So that's why I'm doing some sm small sanding. After that, um, going grid from 600 till 1000, 1500 till 2000. So um, the next step will be just some polishing, just to bring that shine out of the molds. And then you're done, so that's your mold. So I got a lot of questions, why are you doing it that way? Uh, pre prick is expensive but it will give some good results. It's all about testing as well. And I am quite happy, so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. By clicking on the left video, you can go to the next video. And when you click on the right video, you can follow the previous tutorials I've made about pre prep carbon fiber. More than 500 people already like my Facebook page, so have a look, maybe you might like it as well.
If you like this video, give my video a thumbs up, comment and share with your friends. They might like it as well, maybe. So, subscribe for more and see you next time.